Hello and welcome to uh, Pro Engineer Wildfire 3 Drawing Tables and Repeat Regions. So this is Advanced Detail 1, AD1, uh, an introduction to uh, getting a little more complicated in your drawings uh, and uh, creating some more advanced features and so forth. So first off, we'll go ahead and open up a drawing. Uh, we'll open the switch underscore box of drawing. And what we're actually going to do is just create kind of a, a small little revision table up in the, here in the top right uh, corner. Uh, now this is going to be a fairly, uh, well, it's kind of considered a dumb table because it doesn't uh, update or, or make any automatic uh, updates as you change things. So uh, we'll kind of show you a couple different uh, uh, types of tables. Like I said, this is going to be a dumb one. Uh, but go ahead and go table, insert, and then table. And uh, first off, we'll need to uh, uh, specify how we want to create this table. And uh, all that looks good. So let's go ahead and pick the uh, top left corner of the table by the uh, revision. And once uh, you select that, you'll see the numbers. And that's basically the number of characters of the width of the column. So we can just go through and select uh, basically specifying the width uh, that we want for these. Uh, we're just going to try to get as close to that previous uh, cells as are the columns above it. And pick uh, one more and then the edge of it. So uh, this will get to uh, basically specify the, the column widths of the table. Then if I hit the middle mouse button, uh, then we go over uh, and then I can specify the uh, row height uh, and we'll just go with one character and middle mouse button and done. So we've got uh, we've got our first uh, table created uh, with the various cells in it. If, uh, if we uh, double click on a cell it'll pull up the note properties and uh, we can change any of the properties of the, of the text style, uh, the, the font that we're using, the, the height, the width, whether it's slanted and, and so forth. Um, so let me go ahead and double click on the revision and we'll give it a text style uh, and it's centered on the left or and uh, vertically in the middle so horizontal on the left side and in the middle uh, vertically so we'll just go through and, and change that for all of the all of the cells here and update the date to middle okay and approvals textile middle and okay so now that we have kind of our text styles specified for the columns we'll want to input text uh, so just double click and then within the text box we can put the text that we want so revision a uh, and then for a description double click on the cell um, and we're making a change to the address, so let's type in uh, change, change address uh, layout in title block. And OK. Uh, we'll need to input the date. <clears throat> Now, one thing to keep in mind, like I said, this is a dumb uh, table. Uh, all of this has to be manually changed and updated if you are going to change it. Uh, let me change this and make it a little bit smaller. Let's go 08 instead of 2008. 08. Uh, so there are ways to automate this, and we'll show you how. Uh, but like I said, that's basically one way to create a table. Uh, so what we want to do is go down and, and make a note uh, or a symbol of where our revision was. Uh, so in this case, we're going to put uh, a symbol above the uh, title block. And we'll go insert and a balloon. So you'll notice the menus run off to the side. That's just due to creating the video uh, to be able to maximize the, uh, the amount of real estate that you see. So we're just going to enter in a note here and we'll select make note, uh, select the, uh, the point where we want to place it, and then enter in the note uh, that we want. So A, which is our revision, and hit enter again. And now we have a balloon uh, done return. 
And that looks good. So uh, basically, we started off with creating a, a, a general, simple, dumb table. Uh, next thing that we're going to want to do is create what's known as a repeat region. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the following sheet. You can go, go to sheet. You can also toggle up in the top between the sheets um, to go to additional sheets on a drawing. Uh, let's go ahead and create a repeat region. So a repeat region is basically an automated table that will automatically update with values uh, as your assemblies and parts change, which obviously is, is much nicer than a dumb table. So uh, let's go insert a repeat region. And first off, we're going to have to tell Pro Engineer that we have a repeat region in this table. Uh, so we'll add a repeat region, and basically you have to select the uh, left and the right boundaries of that repeat region. Uh, within an, within an empty uh, empty cells and select done uh, and once you uh, create that repeat region it'll actually be uh, kind of an orange color if you notice there uh, just to signify that we have that so next thing we need to uh, put our symbols in there so index is going to be RPT index now these symbols are basically parameters that look for values uh, from Pro Engineer. So uh, with a name, we'll go ASM, uh, MBR, and name. Uh, and basically just double click on the cell of the repeat region. And then we can input the symbol ASM, MBR, type. And last one for quantity. RPT and quantity. <clears throat> so by placing those uh, symbols in there, Pro Engineer will know what uh, values to populate as uh, as we update uh, our assemblies. So if we want to update that table, uh, we can go to uh, table repeat region and then do an update table on this. And you'll notice we have a huge uh, table. So that assembly that uh, we have, basically, we're showing all of the components, all of the cabling, the spools, harnesses, uh, all of the assemblies and sub-assemblies. So what we're going to want to do is start to kind of clean this table up as far as the, the information that we display on it, because we don't necessarily need to show uh, duplicates and, and so forth. And right now, we don't really have any, uh, you know, all the quantities are one or so. Uh, what we'll do is go to table and repeat region. And uh, first thing that we're going to want to do, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and change the uh, attributes on this. So select attributes, select the table, um, and then specify no duplicates. and uh, done return. So in doing so, you'll notice the quantities uh, have updated. Uh, so we aren't showing duplicate parts within the, the name uh, or the row. Uh, and we, call, we basically created that quantity uh, value. Uh, what we can also do is start to filter this. So if we want to go to repeat region filter, uh, you can actually specify a rule uh, to filter out within this uh, repeat region. So we'll go by rule and we'll add. And the filter that uh, we play, want to place on here, we don't necessarily need to see the um, assemblies within the assembly member. So uh, the text, the ampersand, asm.mbr.type, uh, and then uh, exclamation equals. So exclamation equals is not. Uh, so it's assembly member type is not assembly. So we're pulling out any assemblies uh, on this uh, table. So done. And once we refresh, uh, 